Well, hey everybody, this is Joe Van Cleve. Good day. And I, I have a couple of little things to talk about regarding large format photography. I want to make this a short video, I hope. So um, a couple of days ago, I was out shooting a 4x5 with my new Intrepid camera. And, uh, you know, before I got the camera, I was looking at a lot of YouTube videos on other people who have been using this camera. And it seems like most everybody that I see has been taking the camera, folding it up into its folded compressed state the lens is taken off the uh, front lens board is removed folded down the bellows is compressed and the back of film standard is folded down to make a compact package and then they stick it in a backpack put it on their back and they go hiking around and every time they want to stop and take a picture they have to take the backpack off set the tripod up take the camera out of the backpack and then unfold the whole camera, stick it on the tripod and then attach the lens. And they kind of do that every, it looks like, every time they want to take a picture. Well, the first couple times I went out with the, with the Intrepid, I just uh, left it completely unfolded with the lens and set it on uh, the passenger seat of my car. Well, I, I was traveling this last uh, couple days ago when I did this other little field trip with the camera. I was traveling with a, a friend and I was in my pickup truck so I didn't have a, a, a padded seat to put the camera on. And so I came up with a little solution to uh, how to carry the Intrepid with it completely unfolded in its operating state. I had this spare bag sitting around uh, my house and this is... Uh, padded kind of a nylon zippered bag rectangular and I took some measurements of the Intrepid camera and uh, looky here Ta -da! look in this bag I have the entire camera with the lens all ready to go even has the tripod mount for my Bogan tripod already in place the only thing I really had to do to the bag to make it a little more secure is I bought uh, some one inch thick uh, poly foam. I cut a piece for the base and I cut a piece up in here in the lid. I also have this little padded compartment for a spare lens, my old Kodak lens and stuff. But uh, the side walls of this bag are kind of padded, kind of like a lunch bag would be. So there, it does provide some uh, security there. Again, the camera with its little ground glass protective sleeve just places itself right down in the bag and there's actually room adjacent to the camera right here for other stuff. Maybe a spare light meter or whatever. But my intention is not to carry this bag out from my vehicle into the field. My intention is this is my transportation and storage for the camera. So the other way that I'm kind of dispensing with tradition in this large format system and going with something different is I don't really like using backpacks uh, for, for large format cameras if I can avoid it because it, you know you have to kind of stop and sling it off your shoulder and then hang it on your tripod probably in order to use it. I really like the shoulder bags or messenger bags like here's a small one right and it just fits right around you know, bandolero style shoulder bag, and I can sling it behind me and get it out of the way, or I can slip it around front and open it up in the field and get whatever I need to out of it. Now, what do I have in there? Well, I have my Siconic light meter. I have my, uh, my dark cloth, which is a dark colored polo shirt. I have a Ziploc bag with five film holders. And I have accessories in here, like, for instance, I have my notebook, my write in the rain type notebook for making notes about my exposures. And I also have things like an extra long shutter release cable if I need it, and other doodads like that. So there's, there's enough room in this small shoulder bag to put just about everything I need, and I don't have the hassle of a backpack where you constantly have to remove the backpack to get to anything and then sling it back on and zip it back up cinch it up to to get to go where you're going next my modus operandi with this 
camera system is when I get to where I'm going with my vehicle and I park it, I take my tripod out, set my tripod up, I take that storage bag right here, take the camera out of it, clip the camera to the top of the tripod, put the storage bag back in, the, in my vehicle, and then take my shoulder bag, sling it over my shoulder, and put the tripod with the camera already attached over the other shoulder, and then I carry the tripod and camera together, and they're ready to go. And there's even been times when, if I'm hiking on rather steep or uneven or slippery terrain, I'll actually carry the tripod with the legs already spread out in their deployed state. The idea being if I kind of suddenly slip, I can just simply set the tripod down on the ground and, and it'll act as a walking stick to support me and it'll also keep the tripod from falling over. So anyways, I have the camera and the tripod already set up, carry it that way, shoulder bag, and it just seems to be a much better system for me than packing the whole camera back into the backpack between every shot. Now, if I was doing really long hikes, like, you know, overnight camping kind of hiking, I might be using a backpack. But for the kind of photography I do with large format, which is little day trips, short hikes from my vehicle out to some location, I think this system is going to work good for me. And I'll keep you guys updated with uh, any improvements that I find I might need to implement with this. But until next time, I hope you guys get some inspiration to try some unorthodox things with your photography, like, for instance, repurposing these bags that otherwise are would be thrown out or discarded instead of buying multi-hundreds of dollars fancy camera bags. Just repurpose these other kind of bags if they work for you, and uh, save a lot of money and put your money in lenses and film. Okay, until next time, this is Joe Van Cleve, and have yourselves a great day.